Hi, this is Tony with the Kinsman Free Public Library, and I thought I would share some free educational resources. Now, they're mostly like free trials or only free while schools are closed due to everything that is currently going on. So you might only have limited times that you're permitted to use these resources. So when you navigate to them, please make sure that you read all of the info they are supplying so that you make sure you're not accidentally signing up for something you don't want to continue to use. Also, I'm only covering a couple, but there are dozens of, of references and sources out there for you guys to use during this time. So I will be sure to link the article we are using into the video description so that you can find more and also the links to these guys. All right, so the first one up is Minecraft. Minecraft doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so I'm sure if you have children, they have mentioned Minecraft, they play Minecraft, they love Minecraft. Minecraft is giving you a trial of the Education Edition, which includes their Hour of Code programs. An Hour of Code is really great. We've actually played some of them at the library, and it just it uses the characters of Minecraft to solve different coding problems and it kind of walks you through the very basics of how a Minecraft developer might code the game. Next is Khan Academy. Khan Academy is a fantastic resource. It It's just straight free. I mean there are obviously things that you can buy and subscribe to to get more from the site, but it offers courses in everything. Coding, math, English, um, foreign languages, I believe. It's, here we go, here's the whole list. ACT prep, there's art, there's US history, there's AP courses, you can narrow things down by the grade levels. There is so much stuff on this one site, it's fantastic. I actually was using it for a moment to not only learn coding for myself, but when we had the coding club, I was using it as a source for that as well. Epic is a ton of fun and they are, it is a free 30 day trial. So you will be able to access this. Also, I'm seeing get free remote student access. If you guys want that access, please contact us through one of our social medias in the DM. I actually have an account for Epic, and I will see about tap finding a way to share that with you during this time. I don't think I can only share minimum, so it'll be a first come, first serve for sure. But if you're interested in this service after I describe it, please let me know, and I will try to share with you. Basically, Epic is like Libby in Overdrive or Hoopla for kids, but... There's no checkouts. You borrow the you get the items automatically when you sign up. So they're gonna have really popular titles and books for all ages up through I believe late middle school, early middle school is the age group that they're doing. So preschool through middle school. So they'll have Nat Geo and graphics like the Babysitter Club, all kinds of different things that your kids can read. And teachers, or even you, once you get all set up, can assign assignments around this so you can make to test whether or not they're reading or they're comprehending what they're reading. You can have questions and short quizzes surrounding the books. We've actually, if you've come to one of our digital story times, we've read a few books in this ref resource and it, they're really fantastic. Next is Breakout EDU. If you have ever come to one of the library breakout rooms, this is what we are actually using to make the puzzles. So they are giving you a free trial for home during this time. You can create your own breakout puzzles or play online, I believe, and go through the puzzles yourselves. It is breaking it down into age groups as well as themes so you have all kinds of fun things that you can do together oh that dinosaur one looks so much fun fossils love me some dinosaurs so these are suit these are going to be so much fun if you guys really need something to kill a couple hours Ooh, haunted park would be fun 
So are there any horror fans here? Because I'm seriously contemplating playing this one for myself. All right, and the final one we are going to talk about is this ABC Club. This ABC Mouse Club Age of Learning company. If you have any preschoolers, you probably are familiar with ABC Mouse or you've heard of ABC Mouse, the phonics program that kind of helps young children get a jump on learning to read and write and recognizing letters and numbers and such like that. So this source, they're giving it to you free. Usually it is a paid subscription. So make sure you read everything and go through the whole process and make sure that you're kind of following their rules so you don't accidentally get charged for anything. But basically, it looks like they're asking for the school district, your school's name. You're just going to say it's closed. Give them your name, email, and all that good stuff. And you should be able to get access to ABC Mouse and early learning. And like I said, there's so many sources. These are just the ones that I thought would be easily recognizable. So I thought I would share those with you. And I am for sure going to link down below the article that lists dozens of these websites that you can use to kind of help bridge the gap between school and self social distancing at the moment, whether it only lasts a few more days or we might be in it for the longer haul. Who knows? But at least you'll have lots to do and keep everybody super interested in having fun. Thanks for listening.